Hey guys, welcome back to another video of All Things Nerd. Um, we just have finished watching Scream 6 the other night. Um, gonna be talking about, or I guess kind of breaking down, uh, mainly just the first half of the movies. Well, maybe we'll do like a part one, part two, part three, just kind of breaking down um, just parts of the movie, um, either favorite scenes or just kind of what happened yeah. <laughs> in the movie. I thought it, I, I honestly thought it was really good from... I guess comparing that to five, because I didn't get to watch five before six had released. I, I planned on doing that. I just didn't get to. Um, but I felt like I enjoyed this one. I don't know. I have some mixed feelings, but I did seem to enjoy it just a little bit more than than five. Yeah. From what I last remembered. But maybe that's because when I had watched five, I think I had only watched Scream, the, the first one, years prior to that. And so... I guess maybe if I had watched, you know, one through four before five released, maybe I would have had a grown to appreciate it more or enjoy yeah. it um, when I did go see it. Um, but watching this one definitely seemed, felt a little bit different from the other screen movies I had seen. I guess in terms of like, if you go starting from the intro, it seemed very different. The, the one thing that that came out to me um you know that stood out the the film student i can't remember what his name was just to let you guys know spoil alert well, we're gonna be breaking down <laughs> these parts so obviously it's gonna be hard to kind of skip around and not bring up spoilers so just want to let you guys know yeah. spoilers um so if you guys haven't seen scream six yet i would say save this video for later go ahead and watch it afterwards um but i just want to let you guys know <laughs> so i'm not just like eh, you know here's all this info for me, the, the beginning, the, uh, the Jason, the by the way, really what's liked. the name? Jason. Okay. Um, that's the one thing that I really liked that they did differently, which they did different when he goes to when she's, you know, she's on the date, um, whatever the, the chick, I couldn't remember her name either, but it was the beginning, you know, it's, it's always the person that dies in the beginning. And then they're all like, ghost faces back. Yeah. Um, the chick though, when, when he, uh, when Jason, you know, goes and he, he kills her, I was expecting the whole classic, you know, ghost face one liner of like, you know, he says something goes to stab and then it goes scream, you know, six or something. And it has the whole logo and then it starts off the movie. I thought it was really cool when he just stood there, he, he killed her. It was just silence. He's standing in the alleyway and you're like, what is happening right now? And then he takes the mask off. Yeah, and you're like, and you were kind of like, I saw you, and you went, you put your arms up, and you went, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it confused the <laughs> heck out of me. Confusion. So, but that was the one thing I liked starting off at the beginning of the movie was it wasn't just the classic like, okay, cool, we have this chase scene, or you know, the it wasn't the typical first scream you know movie with um, Drew Barrymore was the opening the, kill, the, the girl. yeah, the opening kill, uh, where it's kind of like, oh, you know. Oh, you know, you sound kind of hot. You know, what's uh, what kind of movies you like? You know, it's that normal conversation, yeah. and then it changes to that ghost face voice, and then he starts messing with them. Then you have the kill, and then the scream logo. This one was just it was very, very different, and I liked how they kind of opened it up. What were I guess some of your thoughts on that? Uh, it was the just the opening scene, and after. so the opening scene was one of my favorites in the whole franchise. It was very twisty. Um, mm -hmm. You know, having Samira weaving as being the opening kill, a lot of people didn't think she was actually going to be a, a lot of people thought she was going to be a killer because she's such a mm. big upcoming actress right now. Um, I don't know if right. you've seen the movie Ready or not, but the guys behind radio, like radio sounds, they were the one that also did that movie as well. So um, okay. that's why they brought her in to this movie. Um, and she's, she's, she's a great actress too. And she's actually the final girl in Ready or Not. So it was that's right okay i feel like they try to take like all these big actresses and actors and like be like oh sweet they're gonna be in the movie and just get people hyped up and they just kill them like right in the yep. beginning like drew barrymore <laughs> and the original you know um mm -hmm. I, I loved it to a point because it was so twisty that like a ghost face kills a ghost face like and you just don't expect that you know exactly um the one thing i did um thought was interesting also, you know, spoiler, we're, we're talking about spoilers, so sorry guys, but yeah. <laughs> is that both Ghostface and all the ghost faces are doing Richie's work. So Jason, yep. the opening Ghostface, was trying to continue Richie's work while 
the reveal the killer reveals was all richie's family and they were trying to avenge richie's work you know so right it's yeah. just like a ghost face killing yeah. another ghost face and i feel like what happened was they had to kill off the beginning ghost face because they're like you can't mm -hmm. step on our work you know exactly and they right. wanted to be the ones to kill sam and tara in the end right so exactly i just thought that that was like a really cool twist of the movie that's when i was like where is this going what is happening yes. right now it reminded so, me a lot of scream 4 it was too. very cool remember like the opening mm -hmm. and an opening and an opening yeah and uh um, that's yes i was gonna mention so what was your what was your favorite scene in the movie like out of all the scenes one of my favorites yeah. was um so i can't really say a favorite because it's like i guess one of my things where i felt a little kind of 50 50 with the movie but I, I get it is I feel like they're afraid to kill people off. But then again, I feel like they're not. And the only reason why is because they don't have very many OG characters that are going to be left in these movies. Mm. So it's kind of like, well, you can't really kill off, you know, like, let's say there's, you know, the uh, the, the uh, twins, right? Or, you know, just brother and sister. I yes. Guess. Um, So them, it's like, OK, well, you have the core four, yes, you know, core four. Um, <laughs> You have all these characters well you can't really kill people off if you're trying to build up a new cast um you know if you're trying to build up a new casting to continue the series you know otherwise you know let's say if they killed off like two of them and then it's like okay well then you have you know sam and her sister okay well then you, are you going to introduce new characters and then most of them are going to die the next movie like you can't build up a cast list if you're just constantly killing them off so i think they're trying to set them up for just the future of screen yeah but I would say, if anything, probably one of my favorite scenes was just the, the um, the little gas station or like the the little um, liquor store. Oh yeah, that, I was going to mention that <laughs> because I was I was so excited for that watching the trailer, the shotgun, and, and all that. As, I kind of forgot about it. Like I was just immersed in the movie. That as soon as they stepped in, it didn't really register mm. until they were like, "Hey, they're after us! You know, help us!" And then he steps foot inside the yes. store. That's when I was oh, like, oh, oh the scene, the baby, scene. It, it's coming down. Yeah. And that's just kind of the thing is like most of the movies, from what I remember, you know, Ghostface is usually killing people that are close to the core you know, group in the movies. Yeah. They're trying to kill like most of the main characters. Um, But then in this movie, it was like, hey, mister, you got a problem. And he's just like slashing around, killing random people. Yes. And I was like, brutal. that's that's the it's not something I really expected, you know, obviously in, in the trailer, but it was just like the, these people are on a mayhem and they're on a mission for whatever that mission is yeah. <laughs> just to kill them. So that that was cool. I wanted to ask you because I know in Scream 5, you had said like, um, what was it oh, about Chad the first time when he got like stabbed? Like you were just like, oh, don't expect stab, 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 stab. Oh, remember? Yeah. This one was it, so on, brutal, like 10 times more. So so my only thing was i actually thought this movie was going to be more brutal yeah um which it was <laughs> i honestly i it was but i almost feel like any of the like gory scenes that they had in this movie wasn't like i was expecting them to top dewey's death mm, and okay. with with the gore and like how the kills were gonna yeah. be and i just felt like this movie for me it was it was jarring like when you go from the original you know the first four screams and then you jump to five and then you have chad and you're kind of like oh no they got chad and all of a sudden it's just stab 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 yeah. stab really fast that is like disturbing yes to see is just knowing that within five seconds you've been stabbed like 40 times um so that was jarring and that's what i liked about five was just the way that they killed people was different this movie it was kind of like Hey, remember the way you stabbed somebody um, 20 minutes ago? Yeah, can you keep just doing that every single time? <laughs> like, it's, it's brutal. Yeah. But I was kind of expecting more Dewey-type deaths mm. and more unique-type kills. I know what you're saying. This this one was just stab, 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 so stab, stab. And then it was kind of like, oh, no. And then the only unique death was just, you know, with the ladder, the ladder yeah. scene. That was the only unique death. That was really, you know, it was really sad. Um, brutal, especially, you know, they show like, it's not just like, oh, top down, you see a body from like a hundred feet away. They like zoomed in. Yeah. No. <laughs> so yeah. 
so that was that was brutal but that was the only thing i could think of besides like the ending we'll, we'll get there later on i i, I know so. we'll get to it but i think my favorite scene was gail's whole chase scene and her sequence mm -hmm. it was so heartbreaking like when yeah. gail's face was like mocking dewey basically and like you couldn't save mm -hmm. you couldn't save him and it's like yeah <laughs> you know i just i felt i felt that like for her heart you know like she was so pissed off in that moment you know yeah um but i didn't and we'll, we'll like i said we'll get to it but i wasn't mm. i feel like gail in this movie was just kind of random in a sense no that's that's something i was going to bring um, up too and maybe we could talk about it in a future video coming up you yeah. know like in part two or whatever but it's just yeah. it did it, it her, her her whole sequences and stuff felt kind of forced in the movie. I don't know. Maybe that's just yeah. the way I felt. Well, so, But I did like the part where she tries to slap her. And she's like, ha, I've done this dance before. Yeah. And then Boom. just Jenna. Yeah. Just back answer. <laughs> like, I thought that was funny because it was like, you know, it, it tricks you in the scene. Like you expect it every time you're like, oh, she's learned this dance. And then she just gets whopped in the face. Yeah. So every time she was kind of there, it just felt forced of like, okay, well, we have to involve some original cast member on here let it let and it be gail sydney's home with yeah, the kids so, yeah so <laughs> you know? i i just think i just think it's kind of just one of those last movies of some sort of connection to the original characters yeah. in the series but then i think moving forward like i said them not really killing off anybody it was just kind of a way of okay well here's somebody that's going to bring in some some numbers because people love Scream and they love Gale. But eventually we're going to move on to new cast members. Yeah. Like there just wasn't a lot of involvement there. Yeah. Um, so I, I just thought it was a little odd. I feel like they're trying to set up Chad to be the new Dewey because he's been stabbed so many times and I he just so lives too. every time. You yeah. know, because look at Stewie yep. and all the other movies. He was the same way, right? One, he was stabbed in the back. Yeah. Two, he was stabbed like four or five times. Yeah. Three, he got messed up and he was like limping around the whole movie. Yeah. You know? And then like uh four, he got like uh I don't think he got hit with a bed pan. That's what it was, yeah. Yeah, he got hit with a bed pan. And then five, he just Kirby got the sliced room. up. So it's just like, you yeah. know. All in all, I think the the plot was really well. Um I thought it made sense like it was just kind of cool that you know there's there's always that's the thing about scream is you know there's always that connection obviously some stories see, people might you know love the first one more the second one or the yeah. third one you know so on um so there's always gonna be better like different stories that you might find better than other ones but i still felt like this one fit in um i thought they did really well with the storyline i don't know if it's maybe me but i i did see it coming at least with who one of the killers mm, were yeah um so i i did see that coming with at least one of them but i think by the end of it it was kind of like it, it felt like it was a good movie like it wasn't just something of oh well, like a cash very, grab very or very something boring. yeah uh, yeah or like cash grab i i think they still did pretty well i think it's i think it fits in well with the rest of the movies of the series yeah. um but i don't think it was the best one but kind of just i don't know i always keep circling back but <laughs> i i think it's because you know they're trying to keep people alive for the movies moving forward and that's kind of why a lot happened but then a lot didn't happen at the same time yeah, yeah. at least at least how it felt for me yeah no i'm i agree with you um i i enjoyed the movie i have i do have some mixed things on it but i'll, I'll talk about that and coming mm -hmm. up in the next parts um but yeah, yeah no i i really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun ghostface came to play <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. he wasn't messing around this time uh, he oh, was yeah. pretty brutal, so um, I hope they keep mm -hmm. that tension rolling for seven or even eight coming out in the future. So I think the one of the most terrifying scenes though was the the subway. Mm, yeah, I think it was one of the most terrifying ones because I already kind of saw it coming. Yeah, you know she gets she gets split off. You know with the uh, what's his face? It was like the the new guy in the group, um, Ethan. Yeah, two. Yeah, so two things that I, I remember too was uh, when they were talking on the bench. I think he was wearing a blue shirt. Mm, okay. And so, and I know you mentioned that to me before the uh, the the plaid shirt. I was looking for that the whole time. <laughs> and so, I don't know why I kept thinking in my head too because I, I forgot Chad was in five. You know, he's somebody that's yeah. good. 
and I don't know why the whole time I was like, it's Chad, it's Chad, it's gonna be Chad. And I was like, wait, no, he's her brother. What? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, it's, it's not Dewey. Him. It's Dewey. He's one, he's one, yeah, he's one of the good guys. Yeah. So, but um, what I was, I guess, what I was kind of looking for that I've noticed in every movie, and that's what I thought they did pretty well with this one, though, was every other movie I've seen, you know, whether if it was Stu or if it was Mickey, they were always there in the beginning. You know, and then they would talk about, um, you know, like when you had Stu um, and then he would be kind of like making fun of, you know, whoever the the first girl was that would get killed in the beginning. Oh, yeah. You know, live her alone. You know, they're on the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Live her alone. Yeah. So they're like making fun. Every movie that I watched, they would just disappear mm. off screen for the longest time. And every time they came back, they ended up being the killer. So this movie, I felt like they did a little better where... You know, um, it was uh, Ethan, you said? Yeah, Ethan. He was there like the whole time. And that's what I thought was cool that they did with this movie yeah. was any little thing that they kind of, that they may have done in the original movies for you to kind of be like, here's the list, you know, blue shirt. They always walk away, you know, or this and that, like any sort of thing. Any to sort give it of away. Yeah. That they originally would have in the movie that you might be able to give it away. It's like they did the opposite. <clears throat> was there anything else that kind of stood out in the movie that you didn't really care for or things that you wish you had seen? Um, well, I wasn't crazy about the killer's motives. Um, right. It wasn't my favorite out of all the series. I didn't think it was bad, mm -hmm. but I didn't think it was good either. Like I, I wish they right. would have did something even more twisty. Like, it, like they, they were taking a lot of chances in this movie already. Right. With the ladder scene so and with the be opening and all that. But I wish like they would have kept that opening in like the mm -hmm. ending to that kind of twist because it would right. have been cool to see like three ghost face revealed and then maybe like a fourth hidden one that you didn't even suspect and then come out and like kill another right. ghost face or something like that would have been cool. And I wish they would have kind of went in that more of a direction than just we're related to the family. So we want revenge, you right. know, and it's like, yeah, and I, I feel like it's like Sydney where it's like I've. Where she, I think it was in three, where she's like, I've heard this a hundred times already, like to Roman, remember? Right. Um, just yep. a whiny, like, mama's boy, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so it's just like, I wish they would have did that type of direction. And I'm hoping for like seven right. and eight that they even take more risks and go in a completely different direction than six, because mm. I think keep the same, keep the same brutality of Ghostface for seven. Like keep that brutalness mm -hmm. going, but keep the opening scene twists going as well for the next movie. You know, and I, I want more right. of that because that's what keeps you on the edge of your seat. We are like, oh crap, mm -hmm. okay. So I thought this person was Ghostface, but they just died. So you're like, oh, who the crap is it now? Like, that's right. what I want. And then also, I yeah. think for future, they could keep it like maybe reveal one ghost face but then have like another one not revealed so you're kind of like waiting for like the eighth movie to come out and you gotta wait kind of thing like that would be kind of cool too um so it's kind of like a part one part two type deal going on that would be right. interesting as well where you like you get one ghost face revealed but then you don't get the other and so you're like oh crap they just left us on a cliffhanger and that would be kind of cool for another movie but we'll see i don't know what they're gonna do in the future right I think the um, one of the other things that I noticed too was um, I get it with with Sam. You know, she's trying to you know live a normal life, so you know she meets the the the, the cute guy, yeah, 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 know, that lives like across the uh, you know the other yeah. building. Um, but I feel like for him, I thought it's the same thing as for Gail. I thought they were gonna have a bigger impact or more of just a just a larger involvement in the movie of kind of like the reasoning of why they're there. And it was kind of like, obviously you find out that they've been seeing like each other for a while. He's not just somebody that she just looks at. I, I felt like they were trying to do this sort of Derek sort of thing mm. where, you know, it's, it's like, okay, well, you know, you have the new boyfriend, you know, that's there. Um, Scream six so felt I, like I, a lot I, like two. Yeah. So it's like, it reminded me of two, but that was kind of the other thing was that's what I've noticed in most of the other movies is one, obviously the either kill people that are close to yeah. them. And she, it was just kind of like, go away you're not the original one of us so they won't kill you yes okay i love you and then he just disappeared and it was like so derek is mildly involved but they kill him yeah yeah i know what you're saying and it was like 
so that's my that was just kind of the odd thing was it was like so you have somebody that's in sam's life he is connected because he's been there for a little a little while and even though she, they kept on the down low i get it but it's kind of like that's the thing about Ghostface is he's able to figure things out and you know use any sort of little thing in your life to move on yeah. so it was like i don't know if they're just kind of like well these people like you know if we just uh barely see each other um no one's gonna know even Ghostface. and it was like oh, okay well. yes <laughs> <laughs> he was just gone and then just came back and was like i got the reinforcements yeah, and it was like reinforcements. okay yeah i was like okay <laughs> and so <laughs> that's just the funny thing to me was or felt out of place um was just he was just there and then that was kind of it i think it was it was a good movie but kind of going back and like watching the other ones i i I definitely feel like the original ones set the tone and maybe it's the characters maybe it's sydney you know anybody else that's in the movie yeah but i thought those ones just these stories and the plot made they, they definitely were better but their reasoning for doing like the ghost face whoever it was their reasonings were made more sense to me and i thought it was a lot cooler versus you had this one and it reminded me a lot of uh that movie sick that you oh, showed me. i love that movie <laughs> that's what it reminded me of and i don't know if anybody's watched that movie um that's called you know sick um a pretty decent movie it's uh you said it was made that by the same guy who made um scream who right? yeah who who, re- who wrote scream the original yeah kevin williams so it's yeah so it, it has like elements in there i thought it was still pretty good overall and even that movie i thought had better kills than this one really <laughs> Yeah, I, I felt like it had better kills than this movie. Dang. And that one, to, to me at least. Um, but it, the plot and just kind of the reasoning and like the ending, just the ghost face, like when they lay out the plan, they're like, here's the reasoning, this is why we're doing this. It felt like sick to me. And that's where I was kind of like... No pun intended. Eh, really? That's, that's, your, that's your reason? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> like, it just came off as, just, I don't know put a plan together and we're like all right cool we finished wrap it up that was that's the that's the plot that's where we're going yeah. with so i felt like it could be better but all in all it wasn't terrible though yeah i mean we we also got to remember at the end of the day this is a whole new uh company and everything that's directors and all mm-hmm. that that are doing the movies you know it's not Wes craven anymore so right. um it's still kevin williamson does help write him but he's just kind of a side guy now so you know gotcha um the, and the movies are still distributed by Paramount, but it's like it's Radio Silence who has the rights to the movie now. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they're the ones who have been writing the movies. And I, I think they're doing really well for taking a very well-known, yeah. consistent horror franchise that's always been good in right. every movie and continuing what they're doing. I think they're doing amazing with it. So I like the direction yeah. they're taking it. I mean, <clears throat> it could have been something completely different. That's the thing. Yeah is you know mentioning that that could be like any other company where they could have taken you know scream and all of a sudden like i know that's kind of the thing with scream at least is it's more of tropes that they play off of not necessarily that it's comedy yeah. has some comedy like elements that are in there this one definitely felt more like they kind of done away with most of because that was the thing it was like we're done with the tropes we're done with this and that you know um that's kind of what i liked about this one yeah. was it was a little more serious they had some of the same tropes but because things were done so differently it was like <clears throat> it felt like most of it was going in a direction of a i wouldn't say true slasher horror you know because i think scream you know is one of the best in in the um you know in that genre but it seemed like they kind of had done away with most of the last like the funny stuff and most of what you had seen was done very differently yeah um but they, they definitely could have been like cool thanks for the rights bud and then just change it into like a complete um not a good scream you know tr- trash <laughs> like yeah. the trash series you know making it filled with comedy and basically could have just turned scream into scary movie yeah like they, they could have done that and luckily they didn't and so i think knowing that and somebody had taken on a very you know, well-known IP and, you know, doing something with that, that they, I think they did pretty well. Well, it could have been worse. Could have been directed by like Michael Bay and just have explosions every two minutes. <laughs> it's like much. a Transformers movie, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, 
Yeah, that's good. But um, I think it's bad. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't have much <laughs> we'll, say to more say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, like I said, we'll break down some more yeah. of it, uh, some of the other scenes. Um, you know, dive into the ending of Scream, um, especially because obviously all that breaks down. You know, the reasoning. Yeah, and you know why they're doing what they do. So we'll talk about that a little bit more later on, but um kind of it for me though yeah no um <laughs> hopefully we can go watch the movie again that would be fun all right guys well i appreciate you guys uh you know sitting around yeah thank you guys um you know listening to the you know listening or watching the, the uh, video um let us know what you guys thought of scream i know some of you guys have seen the movie when it first premiered on thursday uh, but if you guys have seen it, you know, let us know maybe some of your thoughts, you know, whether good or bad um, about Scream 6. If you had seen it Thursday or, you know, yesterday or even today, um, let us know what you guys thought about it. Yeah. Um, give and us your thoughts. We will see you in the next video then. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll catch you guys later. All right, take care, guys. Peace. Bye.